What up, what up, Wimbush here. And today I wanna to show you an alternative way that we could create normal maps whenever we're using a texture. Because previously I've done a couple tutorials inside of Photoshop, if you usually came up to here to where it says filter, there was a 3D option, but recently they killed it inside of Photoshop. But luckily while working, I found a free alternative online. So let's jump right into it. Now the website's called Normal Map Online, but the URL is a little bit funky. So I'll make sure to leave the link down below so that you can find it as well. But if you look right here, there's an example. If it's shown, just has a grayscale map. It tells you what it is, 12 by 12. And then this is what the normal map looks like. Displacement map, ambient occlusion, and specular. So you have four different options that you can output from here. And then over here on the right hand side, it shows you what it looks like on a 3D shape. Or if I come up here to model where it says cube, I can make it a plane. And so to get started, you just want to come over here on the very left hand side and you want to select your texture. But a word of caution, it's going to work best if you're using a square resolution. So an example is 512 by 512. I used something that was a little bit off and it still worked, but you're going to get the best results if you use something that's a perfect square. So I'm going to use this right here, just like this craft ground texture. I have it at 2K 2048 by 2048. I'm just gonna come down here and click open. And now we see it right here inside of our viewport. And then inside the middle, we have our normal, we have displacement, ambient occlusion, and specular. So I'm gonna go back over here to normal. And up top here, you see we have some attributes. So if I move this down, you can see that it's changing it here. But on the right hand side in real time, it's actually changing it here as well. So if I put this back on the cube and then I just turn it around here a little bit, we can see better what the results are showing. If I move over here on the strength, if I move it up, you can see exactly what's happening here and you can change out the levels here as well. So you just play around with these different attributes until you find something that really works for you. So that's why I like having this viewport here on the right hand side so we can see exactly what's going on. And then right here, like I could turn off displacement, turn off AO, turn off specular so I could get a better idea of what's happening. And the one tip that I will say is usually I like working at 4K and I noticed that when I put a 4K texture in there, it took a little bit longer for it to upload and show results. So just keep that in mind. If you do upload something that's higher resolution, it might take a little bit since this is browser based. But hopefully this helped you out because I know I have a ton of people hit me up online talking about the Photoshop option no longer works. So hopefully this is a great alternative for anybody that's trying to create normal maps. So once again, my name is Jonathan Wimbush. Subscribe if you're new. Until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.